hopefully right wing dictators <laughs> save the world. <laughs> I got a feeling they won't. <laughs> I know. I know. But yeah, that's been a that's been an ongoing thing. Nice. And then all these people, a lot of it too, is like it's the reason these guys part of it they can propel themselves to power so hard is because like the hard left is so fucking annoying that if you oppose them, people are just like yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. It's like what I was saying about it's just like the top of a roller coaster. You're like yes, 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 yes. You see the top, you're like no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole way up, you're like this is gonna be so sick. That's just sick. We're still going. We're still going higher. Holy fuck. We're going high, huh? Oh, that's a straight drop. That is straight down. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, it's pretty uh That's what I was telling uh Claire when she like last night she was mm-hmm. like, You actually like Donald Trump. I was like, yeah. No, stop. Don't do yeah. that. She was like, I can't believe it and like was mad. I was like, I just hate the people who hate him. Fair the people enough. who are like most open about hating Donald Trump tend to be fucking douchebags. Yeah. Douchebags. They suck, dude. Well yeah. it's funny because then like I'll watch I'm like, I'm gonna watch a Trump rally, dude. He, there's no way he can I was be I was watching Trump rallies. I've watched a couple of them. They're I'm, hilarious. They are funny. Then he does the same thing. Watch it watch a Trump he rally. He has like a an act. He has an act. He's oh been running God, an act. So I've funny. I watched I was a little high and I watched like six Trump rallies in a row. <laughs> same exact setup. But he within five or six minutes, at the five or six minute mark, mm-hmm. he points to the media in the back and has everybody turn around and boo them. What? Usually within at the five or six minute mark. So I like just, I like skip because there's always like a fucking half an hour of just like the flag and it's like, the <laughs> yeah, fuck, yeah. come on. Music so like, and... Yeah, so I'm like, come on, I'm skipping forward. Yeah. And then I was like, I skipped to when it was just like, we got to build the wall. We got to build, and there's a chant like, build the wall. And I'm like, Dude, all right. That's where they get all of his most outrageous quotes and shit. Mm-hmm. Like when he made fun of Ford. What did he say about Ford? He was like, she doesn't know when it was, what the year was, what she was doing at the party. Oh, yeah, What yeah. does she know? Like, yeah, all that. And the, the crowd's is. laughing. Yeah. So he, he goes out and does these shows. Yeah. He's he's a touring comedian. He I, runs he an is. hour every night in an arena. He's Kevin Hart, dude. He's a little Kev. Does he get paid for his talks, or is that just No, nah, I don't think he can. I didn't think he could either. I mean, he probably does. I mean, he's probably going to win again because of him. He's, Did I anyone would, do these kind of like tours when they were president? I don't really remember this. Yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking. I don't remember Obama. I mean, Trump from day one, he loves it. Oh, he loves Jesus running. Christ. He loves running his hour. He does. He's dude. working on a solid hour right now. I, I've seen it. They got to give him a Netflix ad and just have, like, all right, dude, let's see what the fuck you're talking if, about. Hopefully Netflix comes up with enough money to buy him out of office and be like, dude, we're just going to give you a series. Yeah. Just <laughs> kill it, dude. You they say whatever the fuck you want. just let him be like a Kardashian or something. That's not a bad That's life. That's what he is. Yeah. It's not a bad life. It's like, dude, can you stop doing the... Dude, because yeah. it's like... So I'll watch the people talk about him. I'm like, God, you guys are so fucking annoying. Then I'll watch him like, we got to talk about immigration. Then it's just 50,000 people like, build a wall. And I'm like, all right, Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Those it's rallies crazy. are fucking bad. They're scary, dude. And he, when he does the five-minute mark where he's like... Look at them. Look at them in the back. I That's know. them. They're liars. The whole the whole arena turns around and boos the camera. <laughs> it's like, damn, dude. That's crazy. And everyone's laughing the whole time. Like, it's a fun fucking, like, yeah. Trump walks out. He's like, here we are. We did it. No one can stop us. <laughs> it's basically how we start the podcast every week. Like, damn, basically, yeah. we did it, dude. Everyone said we couldn't do it. Can you believe we're here for another rally? Trump, Sold out. Trump brought up the electoral. He brings up the electoral college yeah. every night. Every What's night. What's his point with it? Just like, look at it. We won. Here's the map. All red, baby. We yeah. did. Yeah. Apparently, PA, the <clears throat> governor, so whoever's trying to oppose Tom Wolf came out and said he's going to stomp his face with golf cleats. Yeah, that but, is. But it was preceded with Tom Wolf trying to say, like, whatever this guy does for a living, I think he, um, I think he actually is a trash guy. He has a trash company. Oh. Tom Wolf. Don't came... fuck with them, Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Tom Wolf came at his, like, trash business, basically being like, he doesn't do that. Trying to say he was a deadbeat and doesn't pay things. Damn. This dude was like, I'll fucking I'll kill you, dude. Fucking face I'll fucking golf kill place, you, dude. I don't know if you'll know about <laughs> independent waste haulers, dude, but it's a, uh, it's a, it's an industry yeah, associated I found out. a lot of times with organized crime. Yeah, I so found out, like... dude. Don't talk to them. <laughs> don't even try to say let's not do this. Don't show any weakness to them. Don't yeah, acknowledge dude. that they exist. The trash men build themselves. <laughs> Scott up. Wagner. That's Wagner. the guy's name, Wagner. I think it's Wagner. He's the guy who has signs all along the turnpike that are like Scott Wagner. I'll the, stomp your face, with greedy. Golf, the guy, greedy politicians fear. Damn, Every time I see dude. it, I'm like, dude, greedy politicians are so fearful. Tom Wolf, dude, is a greedy politician. Dude, every greedy so politician fearful. fears Wagner. I just saw uh, Chappelle talking with some other guy on it. I think it was NBC or CNN. It was Chappelle, uh, an anchor, some black dude, I forget his name, and then some like politician. 
and they're asking Chappelle about like all the the you know cut what up Kanye's up to all this stuff and like when they asked Chappelle about Kanye he just went and started walking on the stage like I'm out of here and he left and then like he came out and was like yeah I fucking like him man you know it is what yeah. it is and then uh, but the politician would be like keep jumping in on stuff and be like. People want to scapegoat people. This is just that. The party that really helps people when it comes down to is Democrats. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, you're scapegoating people right now, dude. Shut up. Yeah. Like, I would just love for someone to be like on with a politician, but you're a fucking freak, dude. Like, just talk like a normal person. Yeah. Stop stop doing your weird act as a politician. What do you actually think? Yeah. Have like, I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. It's like, you guys are fucking freaks. I think we're going to get shapeshifters. Yeah. I think we're going to get to a point where this is me. I'm doing Joe Rogan right now. Oracle? Whoa. Whoa. With a cybernetic future. I love your split brain. We're like, I got a good idea. And the other part comes around the back and it's like, you're fucking gay. Dude. Yeah, dude, don't ever try to sound smart. You're fucking fat and gay. Uh, every time, dude. You can listen to any one of these episodes. If I try to say something intellectual, yeah, I'm instantly like, so fucking gay. I'm gay for this. But here's the thought. Um, same thing with movies. Like the dialogue in movies. Mm-hmm. Like when it's corny. Yeah. Like when you're like, you people don't talk like that. Yeah. I think that's going away. Yeah. And then I think, like, like the same way it used to, when they're like, meh, see, meh. Yeah. Like, people are like, no one talks like this. Yeah. And then it's still, like, dialogue in movies is improving to the point where it's like, this is what, this is a real conversation. Yeah, for sure. Nobody has a witty response every fucking time. Yeah. Nobody's charming constantly. Like, all well, you that. You see cops go to, a, like, a crime scene, they're like, whoa, somebody was, let's take a burger, yeah. like, somebody yeah. was hungry. Yeah, it's like, no, dude, they show up and they're like, oh, Jesus Christ. Man. There's <laughs> there's a whole group of people who love that shit, man. Like Yeah, idiots. Yeah, but they where a guy like every fucking dude in every movie is like at some point like a certain type of movie hits his walk in closet and there's like sixteen watches, fifty button down shirts, and it's just a whole scene of this guy getting dressed and it's like yeah, it's the rock. That's real. Yeah, exactly. It's dude. The fucking rock. Who like I have so many. Let's check out my wardrobe. Look at all my cufflinks. All I have are suits in my closet. I love cufflinks and working out, and I disrupt. Yeah. It's like, you're a fucking. You were in Jumanji, dude. You don't disrupt. You fucking loser. <laughs> Fuck the rock. All right, back to this point. So, like, I think that's changing. I think it's like news correspondence. Mm-hmm. Like, local news, that fucking cadence they use, mm-hmm. that's got to change. Yeah. They keep People, it, they, they got to keep it on it. And I think politicians are going to have to change, too. Well, they no, no. They're doing it because they saw Trump came out and it was just like, rather than being, well, he was just like, I pay you, I pay you, fa da da yeah. Dude, they all were like, fuck. Because now I'm noticing all of them doing it. And they're like, he's a jerk. They'll say, like, jerk yeah. off. Or, and they know it's like a political strategy now. Yeah. But even that will become a, a thing people do because that's becoming yeah. – I'm watching politicians now. They, they're they like, oh, we can talk to this now. They're like, oh, it works really well. They're all doing yeah, it. Yeah, when they fake it, you can tell. Like oh, when yeah. someone fakes swears. Rubio will try to do it. When it, someone yeah. tries to swear, mm-hmm. like uh, I'll, I'll never forget Kellen Winslow. He played mm-hmm. tight end. He was at Miami. Yeah. This is while he was still at Miami. He like leveled some dude from Tennessee. Yeah. And they're like a, a reporter was like, it looked like you tried to hurt him. And he was like, hell yeah, I tried to hurt him. I'm a fucking soldier. And it just uh, came out yeah. like, dude, why'd you try to swear? Well, that's like me if I were to try to be like, what's up, dog? If I, people would be like, yeah, we can tell by – like you got to master those whatever, those minute like tongue yeah. muscles to like not sound like you're just kind of putting on an act. When people curse who don't usually curse and they try to be cool with it, it's like – Yeah. They always hesitate for a second too. Like he's just a fucking asshole. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that will change. I think hopefully we can get past all the all the BS, man. And just really we'll see. Unless cut we down dip to into people fucking, being honest. Unless we come into like a, tri- a just a ton of right wing dictators, dude. Right wing dictators. China's a left. Keep it one hundred. China's a left wing. They're full communism, right? Full, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's what happens when the left goes wild. Yeah, the Chinese will get you, and they'll be like, "All right, we're gonna ban Muslims." Yeah. Except they really do it. They're Chinese is banning Muslims. The Chinese are issuing some real strict laws on Mus- on on the Muslims, dude. Really, really? Yeah. Chinese. They have Chinese Muslims. Yeah, I think China might border Pakistan. I can see some Muslim overflow in there. Yeah, I think. That's red pill, blue pill. If you're like a Pakistani Muslim that needs to get out, it's like, do I go the way of Chinese or do I go the way of America? Come to a fucking USA, dude. Yeah, we'll at least have people to like pretend to stick up for you. Dude. Yeah, you can they'll... just turn into a wigger and be like, yo, dog. I was like, yo, dad, what the fuck are they fucking challenging us for, dog? <laughs> I was just thinking, was... did you see the guy, the Trump's one aide, who everyone keeps saying that he's oh, drunk? Yeah, he's drunk. This fucking lunatic. <laughs> yeah. What's his name? Like Nurnberger? What's his name? I forget, honestly. I just know he, everyone's like, I'm sorry, I have to ask this. Are you drunk? <laughs> and he's like, I'm on, I'm, I'm on depression medication. Is that okay? <laughs> 
Dude, that is so funny. Oh, man. I, I have fallen greatly in my support for our fearless leader, Thank Donald Trump. <laughs> the joke, <laughs> joke finally ended you for tried, me. You tried, dude. You tried. I, I made it a year of thinking it was funny. Yeah. Now it's fine. Although the, the Oscars pushed me back a little. Every time I start to actually be rational about Donald Trump, the left is right there for me. They're like, no. To just be like, dude, go back. Yeah. You're not welcome on this side. Sorry. Yeah, well, that's what sucks. I mean, yeah, it's like the... It's just so annoying because then you're like, yeah, this shit is fucked up. Then you watch that side of it and you're like, oh, God, Jesus Christ. If you're strongly on either of those sides, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, and before I went to bed last night, <laughs> I started watching Trump, uh, his debates, the, the highlights from that. It's so funny. Dude, it, it's, I'm like going, it's like surreal to watch. Like, oh my, I can't believe that he actually it's did that. It's fucking insane. Him versus Jeb Bush, dude, is so fucking yeah, he's funny. Like, you got a lot more energy tonight, Jeb. Oh, you doing good. I was wa- watching them debate, and it's oh. literally, dude, it's like, you know when we fuck around and like, we'll be like trying to like throw each other under the bus? They're just doing that. There's yeah, no course. way they're not laughing. When they get done, they're like, ah, you motherfucker. You got- <laughs> like, dude, they're like, yeah, but yeah, but the people in Florida that try to put a casino that you unite, and then he's like, Fuh, and it's like, like he gives a fuck. Like, the Bushes give a fuck if there's a casino in Florida. Like, the, they're talking about someone from the Bush family was like, what? They're putting a casino in Florida? Those poor people. Not in Florida. I gotta stop that. It's yeah. like, dude, the fact that people watch that and take that seriously is so bizarre to me. But I stood up against a casino. And he's like, Jeb, trust me, if I wanted a casino, I'd have one. If I wanted one, there'd be one there. I didn't want one there. Dude, it was... Yeah, that's why he died. Because he could shit talk. He was used to, like, reality yeah. TV and, like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to banter with you in, like, dude. a non-political setting where everybody else has, like, come up through regular political oh, speeches and dude, shit. I was watching. I was watching comics talk shit. I was watching, like, fat female comics making fun of Donald Trump, like, poorly at an open mic. And I was like, dude... If you let Donald so you're, you're just at an open mic. Yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> I was like, dude, if Donald Trump just if you gave the mic to Donald Trump for forty seconds oh after one god. of these people, oh my god. he would fucking eviscerate them. He's like fat, almost unwatchable. <laughs> Truly, not one moment where it was funny. Dude. Disgusting. She's disgusting. She's a fat pig. It's sad. <laughs> dude. And that's a person who's trying to learn how to shit talk. He was yeah, still yeah, just yeah. blown I mean, away. The, the like, best, politicians like not used to that. They're shit, man. fucking weirdos, dude. The best is uh, that one moment where you had the whole country watching them, and they're like, "You've called women pigs, ugly, yeah. fat," and you watch his face as he realizes. Like, I'm watching like, every <laughs> yeah. the place is pin drop silent, and you see the moment when he goes. Oh, I know what I want to say. And he goes, he, yeah, only Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, and you can the always, whole crowd is like, oh, this is a presidential always, election, dude. Yeah. Always see whole the comebacks. crowd's like, yes. You can see the comebacks coming. Like, yeah, what, during his speech, like somebody will be talking, he's like, <laughs> he just gives a little subtle like <laughs> nod anyway. or real, his whole face changes. He sucks his face. And, and then goes, he leans into the mic <laughs> like that. And he's like, because you'd be in jail. <laughs> it's like, yes, dude, it's over. It's so crazy to watch. But that, the, that thing where the lady, like youth, Imagine people in a room like, all right, uh, hit him with this one. There's no way he can weasel out of this. And he's like, yeah, only Rosie O'Donnell. The whole crowd goes, ah. Fuck, he killed. <laughs> Damn. That's why he's probably miserable now. Like, I think that's what he wanted to do. He'll, he wanted that part, I feel like. Like, but, Trump, like, enjoyed fucking that. He does but, like, that all day long. Do you ever televised. read his Twitter? He hasn't nah, stopped, bro. I, I try not to. Just, he was like, just on good. He was just on Fox and Friends this morning. It was, it was completely set up from what I saw. Really? Did you see that when he walked past? Mm-mm. So he, there was this thing, there was like a thing in the news cycle last week about how Trump just, like all the press was at the White House and Fox and Friends just so happened to be doing a Fox and Friends outside the White House. So Trump walks past all the press or asks them questions and like, you know, fake news, fake news, yeah. out of my way, sits down at Fox and Friends, like, thanks, you guys are a real news story. And like, you know, kind of oh, does not like that angle. Yeah, but yeah, so he's, dude, he doesn't stop, dude. Uh, maybe he's still having fun with it then. I, he, he really enjoys that. that he lit, On the Fox and Friends thing, he's talking about Kim Jong-un. And he was like, it's like he's trying to fuck with people right now. Because at one point he was like, they're like, yeah, but isn't he like, what, from like a humanitarian perspective, how do you like call, you know, how, why are you being an ally with this guy? He's like, I'll tell you what, he's a tough leader. He's tough. <laughs> <laughs> he's starving <laughs> his whole country. <laughs> it's like, wait. When, his, when he tells his people to stand oh up, they stand God. up. I wish some of my people would do that. <laughs> Holy shit, he said that? Yeah, on Fox and Friends. And people try to hold it to him. He's like, oh, please get over it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard a conspiracy theory. You might, hear, you might love this. All right, so a conspiracy theory that like Kim Jong-un is going to disarm nuclear and stuff. It's going to work out and whatever else. But he's only doing it because Putin is in his ear being like, 
you need to disarm whatever else to get Trump another four years and reelected after he solves the Korean crisis so that Putin can still influence Trump and America and stuff. That's a conspiracy theory I heard. I don't really Wrong. believe it, but it's interesting. Wrong. All it's right. Not I that. Don't know. Debunked. Yeah. I thought, <laughs> no, I thought it's, you it's, were going to have him on the line on that. Yeah, no, I thought you were going to jump no, in and be like, this well, would this be is, interesting. It would certainly work, and it would just is, hit me with a wrong. If the, if he, perhaps if he hadn't taken Lionhead mushrooms today. <laughs> but he's, no, right close. now, he's you're, you're close. You're close. But you're close to the answer. You're close to the truth. Oh, my God. But really, really, the United States, Russia, and North Korea are the ones who are in cahoots right now, and the EU and Canada are against those three. Dude, the listener can't see this, but you're my report. The, the glo- with your hands. Well, no, the globalists. <laughs> the globalists want for the United States to get nuclear fallout with either North Korea or Russia, preferably Russia. So that way, the fallout's so disastrous they can start a, like a one-world government, New World Order takeover. That's why they're running stuff against the fact that he denuclearized North Korea. That's why the press is like, "So what? Bullshit." So they want us to go to fucking war. You think CNN wants us to go to a nuclear war? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do. I think they definitely don't want the Korean you, War. You've never hung out with like people who are like bazillionaires, dude. Nah. They they're they're literally they play risk with us. You know, you think like, oh no, they're, you know, we're fucking pawns. We really are. Like, there's a level of wealth that just we we're fucking retarded against, dude. <laughs> it's true. Like, like, you know, like we're ants. We are. There's certain people have so much money that they're just kind of like, I've I've hung out with the wealthy. You have. Ever since I started taking Lion's Head. No, I knew one guy who was pretty rich and he used to like call like he would just say like <laughs> one rich guy. Yeah, he would just, <laughs> he would like he was called people, people. <laughs> worker people. So he'd be like, Yeah, well they're just like worker people. Yeah, man. You're not wrong. I work for everybody's always like he's so homophobic and all that shit. Like I literally Trump? Go, yeah, like I had to Google last night. I was like, Trump homophobic. Like what has he done? Yeah. What has Trump done that was homophobic? I think it's just banning when he did the ja- transgender military ban. Which didn't take effect. He just tweeted that. And it's also like, dude, I, if you're trans, I could see why you're bummed out. If you were fucking on the front lines, like in firing squads, and they were like, and they were like, yo, we're not gonna, let, we're not gonna let trans up there. You'd be like, okay, yeah, that works. Cool, for me. thanks. That's pretty you chill. You want to be in the trenches next to that? They're shooting guns at me. <laughs> yeah, this is not fair. <laughs> like, actually, it's a sign of freedom and power. Yeah, that's that's one thing that's funny because when I googled Trump homophobic, yeah, which I was searching. <laughs> I guess this guy. That's a two a.m. search, dude. Which is lizard yeah. eyes. Like I gotta crack. Well, the code. I, can't, I can't figure it out because why he keeps getting called homophobic. I mean, he's everything right now. Once you're one thing, you're everything now. So if you're like Muslim travel ban, you I mean, hate transgenders. He's, he's definitely a fucking moron. He's, but it's he's like, not a moron though, dude. Well, he is. I think he's levels. I think he's leagues beyond, dude. No, I think no, he's, what, dude. He's he's fucking. Functioning in like absolute the shark most shark infested waters. Sure, he's definitely not stupid. If a moron As was a person, in there, it would be even worse. But what he's saying most of the time is extremely idiotic. Oh, he's a fucking demagogue, dude. He gets people he hyped can't up. Talk. He's good he's, at talking. He's very poor he's, at speaking. He's very good at hitting he's buttons. A poor speaker. What is he? Was it was an example? Just not. To, I'm mean, not I doing can, that. I, I hate my girlfriend. Does that to can, me? She's like, when did I name one thing? Okay. And it's like, Fuck. Look at my African American over there. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Isn't he great? Yeah. I mean, I could go but on he's for 70. hours. He's seventy. Yeah, but he's a he's a poor public speaker. <laughs> he said, "Look at my African American over yeah, there." Yeah, there was a black dude at a rally. <laughs> he's like, "Look at my African American over there. Look at him." <laughs> he's uh, yeah, he's. I think he's good at. He's a con man who's tapping into. Whatever white trash wants to hear. Yeah. But now he's going to get a Nobel Peace Prize for reuniting so. South that would North make Korea. me so happy. <laughs> I mean, I want him to do well. And I think it's funny when he does well. Like when Kanye half endorsed him. What, like in the Kanye very was, beginning? When Kanye, no, no, right now. Kanye has a signed MAGA hat, dude. Yeah, but his whole thing is he's like, love people you hate. Yeah. Like that's actually what he's trying to say. True, yeah. But it's also, like, that makes me happy. Mm hmm. Because it just anything good that Trump does or has going for him makes me laugh. Because Thanks, of Kanye. How Very many people cool. are like, he's a homophobic monster. He's racist. He's going to kill us all. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. like, no, he's a fucking president. Yeah. He's a dipshit. He's a businessman. Yeah. He's just a psycho. Yeah. But it, uh, Jesus, I forgot what I was saying. Um, yeah, I hope I'm waiting for Kanye. Price. I hope Kanye's new album is so good. It's funny. It's too. terrible so far. Really, I mean, he's released some tracks about What's, this. What are the songs like? There's I one, love everybody. There's one about. There's one that's him and Ti 
rapping back and forth about the conversation about what's happening right now. That's tight. It's so bad. Yeah, but you got to understand it's, me, Exactly. Though. Yeah, I know. But it's, you got to understand. Like, you got to understand where you come from, T.I. will do from, anything bro. right now to get fucking famous. Dude, he's tried everything. Imagine but, if you featured on his album, and then he pulled the signed MAGA hat, and you're like, what? Oh, fuck, come on, man. Like, that's, that's a fucking silver bullet in rap world. Being a rapper and be like, I fucking love Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> it is so funny. Unless you can come at as like a place of ignorance and like people will be like, fuck yeah. Like if you're future and you're like, grab her by the pussy like Donald, people are like, damn, future's sick. Yeah. If you're like, eh, he's all right. They're like, fuck you, you motherfucker. Well, it's, it's also funny for people to be like, if a rapper endorses Donald Trump and mm-hmm. then their fans are like, he's racist and homophobic and sexist. It's like, have you ever listened to rap? <laughs> yeah, have you true. ever listened to rap, you <laughs> fucking know. idiot? That's true. It goes back to that white chick that was like, I saw this bearded hipster asshole fucking patriarchy dickhead but at least he was listening to biggie yeah that was his one redeeming quality it's like uh, it's like have you listened to biggie <laughs> have you listened to rap that was funny we when i used to work in uh my brother's taco truck we had this girl in there and she was like i love neil young i love neil young all this shit i love the flaming no no she was saying i love the flaming lips and then we we're playing the flaming lips and she was like oh my god what is this shut this off and my brother was like that band you love flaming lips and flaming lips and she was like yeah, what? i never heard this album it's like it was like the most famous album. Yeah, yeah. It's like, get the fuck. And the one girl had a Neil Young t shirt, same thing. She was like, what song is this? And he's like, that fucking Heart guy's. Of gold? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> that like guy. Harvest Moon? You know that shirt you're wearing, that <laughs> yeah. band that you love? She always, if you were the president, what's the first thing you would do? Um, probably fuck. I don't like. You would fuck? Oh, yeah. I don't like. <laughs> you would fuck. I don't like. I kind of don't get First like, lady, hopefully. Well,. No, like, I don't, like, he's supposed to be the most powerful man in the world, right? And you're like, oh, he fucks just yeah. one, like... Oh. It's very, you know I mean? very it be, postmodern of you, dude. You think very... he should be poly? And obviously he doesn't. He's had to settle out of court with mad <laughs> <point> stars, <laughs> yeah. dude, so. Donald Trump definitely fucks a ton of fucking chicks. <laughs> Donald Trump probably just fucks men just because every now and again. He's definitely fucked at least one man somewhere. Just a fucking, like, you know, the board of directors was like, I'll tell you how it's going to be. Fucking, you think? If you're a billionaire, you've definitely fucked a man at least once, out yeah. of, just out of like just to keep order. You were you were in the office late. Janitor yeah. walks by. You're like, get in here. Oh, he is, <laughs> get the fuck in here. You're all, you always have like your little flask. You're always like kind of like disastrously drunk at the end of the day, yeah. and you're like, hey. come in some janitor's butt and then make him sign a fucking non disclosure <laughs> act. Be like, if you say anything, I'll fucking kill your whole family. Get the fuck out of here. He was on uh, Epstein's plane. Him yeah, and, him the and Lita Express. Friends. He was on it. Trump was on the pedophile plane. Yeah, yeah the Lead Express. Probably just gathering intel, dude. <laughs> Most likely gathering <laughs> intel. He was on, I mean, that's the other thing, too, man. Imagine that. They're like, yo, I got this plane. We're going to an island full of... What were they? How old were the girls? I've 16, really, like, 17? I've never into any of that. Yeah, because it's, so. anti, it's anti-Clintons, and you love the Clintons. You love oh, the Clintons? Oh, no, I just don't. Like, it has no real effect on my life, I guess. I mean, I'm. It's sad, All right, that's like, such a fucking cop out to be. Oh, yes. Now I remember. This you is guys, the one thing that I am kind of excited about is the fucking comedy bubble to burst. Because, yeah. man, those Netflix specials just continue to stink. And it will, because people are going to go, once, man, stand up sucks. Once it's like, yeah, you see fucking 30 specials and they're all the exact same, it's like, all right, shut it down. This yeah. sucks. This band fucking da- sucks. Band down the hatches. And then the people that are doing stand up for the wrong reasons quit. True. And who aren't getting laughs quit. Mm-hmm. And the people like me who are fucking excellent artists and true fucking <laughs> pros. Yeah, man. Five years from now, be, <laughs> five years from now will be interesting. Yeah, I agree. It'll be tight to see the people still holding on. And, be, and like, it's like fucking like, or honestly, I think, uh, let's say six years from now, once Trump does his second term and is done, if he's out of office, what the fuck would they talk about? I mean, like, this new president's okay, I guess. Do you guys like, remember Donald Trump? Remember Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that guy, that orange fucking racist? Yeah. It's like, you mean the guy who created world peace? Because that's six years from now. Exactly. Uh, Trump will have already mission accomplished. We'll be in Trump Utopia, dude. We will. They'll probably be in Guantanamo. All the female comedians will be in Guantanamo. By they'll be in, the they'll be in Gitmo? Yeah, they're, they're worse fucking they'll fears. They'll be in will Fitmo, be dude. <laughs> 